So if you're getting an error message when opening up a file with Photoshop um, that says could not synchronize the color settings, uh, I think I have a solution for that. It was sent in from um, a guy named Carrie who was uh, viewing an earlier vi video where I was calling out this error and asking if anyone had a solution. And he actually did, which is great. So that's why I'm creating this video. So this started to happen to me with the Adobe Photoshop 2018. I think after I installed some update along the way. I don't remember. Um, so first I'm going to show you the error to, to, to confirm that you're getting the same thing. Then I'll show you the solution that was sent to me that seems to work. And I hope it works for you. I was wondering if anybody else had this problem with uh, Photoshop. So I got some files here. It started yesterday. And I was just going to open up in a little screenshot and so I do file open and I choose my version of Photoshop I've tried both versions I have installed here and same results and it launches and I get this uh, could not synchronize the color settings because the file is locked necessary permissions use get info blah 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 okay so the solution is um, has to do with permissions as it always usually does right um, but it took me a while to figure out where this was and if you go to uh, go menu and then choose library, so you're looking at your user library, not the root library. Okay, so don't click this one. Don't go to your hard drive uh, and then go to the first one you see. Um, either choose your user and then go to library or go to the go menu and then choose library. So from here, go to application support, find Adobe, go to color, and this is the um, this is the one that's uh, been a trouble um, in this case, which makes sense because it's a color setting error that comes up. So what you want to do is a couple ways you can do a command I to get a get info. Um, I think you can also do it from here, file get info, right? And this will come up. And what you want to do is let's make this fit on the screen. Is for me. I had to change staff to read and write. You also need to make sure your user account, which is um, kind of covered up because it's my name, um, also needs to have read write privileges. So change this to read write. Next, go down, unlock this. Okay, it's going to ask you for your admin for your computer. Um, so we can make this change. Enter your password in or use uh, Touch ID if you're using a MacBook Pro. Then go here. And once you unlock that, then you can select apply to enclosed items. And that is because, say OK. In this folder, there's a couple other folders, and they need to have the same permissions. So apparently, um, when I was opening up Photoshop, I guess it was looking to have write permissions for staff here, even though there's no files that are here. And I don't see anything that's written here. So. Who knows? But anyway, then once you do that, I guess you can lock this back up. I don't think that matters at this point. Close this. Find an image file. Uh, let's see. I'm sure I got one here somewhere. Here's an image file. And then you can do file open with. Go to Photoshop. And that should work. Or the other option is to just double click it. And it should launch Photoshop and oops, <laughs> I have preview set up as my default. So, but you get it. Um, that should solve the problem. Now, the other thing that um, Carrie mentioned was that this came back again uh, for him. So it looks like at some point permissions got changed and then he has to make the change again. I suspect maybe installing an update. I don't know. Um, you know, installing an OS update, something might change it. So you got to remember. That if you get that error again, uh, go to the application support folder, go go into Adobe, go to color, and make those changes. So I hope that's helpful. It helped me, and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks, Carrie.